it's time for Adobe Bridge. Here I am inside Adobe Bridge CS5 and I'm going to take one of the images, uh, let's say this one here, it's an example, and I'll show you the new watermark feature inside Bridge CS5. Okay. So I've got this image selected, I'll jump into the output workspace because that's where we add watermark to the images. So I'll click on the output. The output panel will open in just a moment. Okay, and there's two sections here, web PDF and web gallery. I'm going to use the PDF section. Okay. Now, or I can use just a couple of images. So let's me select a few more images here. Just using control key or command key to select multiple images. Okay, so I've got six images selected. In the PDF section, I'm going to create 4x5 contact sheet and then I'll customize it because I don't have so many images. I've only got six images, so there will be loads of space and the image thumbnails will be quite big. And just for, let's say I'm going to print it, so I'm going to use the high resolution 300 dpi. So that's the page. I'll use the international paper A4 size as a preset. Okay, 300 ppi, portrait, that's great. Quality is fine. What I'm going to change is the number of columns and number of rows. I'll do two columns and three rows. Okay, and I'll refresh preview. This will make the images bigger because there are only six images. Looks good. I'm going to increase some margins on the sides. I'll do here two centimeters and two centimeters just to add more space and make the images smaller as well. Looks good. Okay. And I'll scroll down to the watermarking section. So I'll scroll down, and this watermark section here, this one is new in CS5. Now there's ki two kinds of watermarks we can add here. I'll click Add Watermark. An image or a text. Okay, I'm just going to add some text as an example. So I'll do Insert Text, and I'll add some corporate information here. I'll start with the corporate symbol. Then the date, 2011. Uh, let's say Marek Mulajic Photography. Good. I'll click on Refresh Preview to see what it looks like. And now in Bridge CS5, Watermark appears on each single image. In CS4, it used to appear on one, on one center here. I'm going to make the size is OK. I'll make that white. So I'll change the color to white. Okay, it looks good. And I'll refresh preview once again. Just see it bigger. I'm going to minimize that just for a moment. Looks good. Now, I think the size is okay. But I'm going to drag the opacity down to make it semi transparent. Let's say about 30%. I'll click refresh preview once again to see what it looks like now. Looks good. It's good. Now you can move it as well. There's a horizontal offset and vertical offset. For example, if I take vertical offset, I can move that to positive values in here. So for example, 57% to move it upwards. Okay. Now because I have loads of sky here and the top, I'm going to move it actually downwards. Not too much. Let's say about 20%. I'll click refresh preview. And looks good. Okay. You can change the size, you can also change the font. Now with Bridge CS5, you can use any font from your computer, from your system, as a watermark symbol. The other kind of watermark here is the image. So I'm going to click on Insert Image now, instead of it, and I'll select an image. I'm going to use maybe my logo. So I'll go to my documents, uh, let me find it. Graphic Design Site Training should be somewhere here. I just need to find the okay, uh, the PNG file. Okay, so that's a PNG file with some transparency. I'll click Refresh Preview to see what it looks like. Now this is huge, so I'm going to scale it down, make it smaller because okay, the logo is big. It's still too big. I'll make it about 10-15 percent of the original. Okay, there's the logo. Looks good. It'll replace the text. Any image could be a logo. And again, you can make it semi-transparent. You can also move it anywhere you want. You can even rotate it. 
Okay, so I could rotate this as an example. And now the logo is rotated on the page. A really cool, nice feature in Adobe Bridge CS5, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SAI Training School UK, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. Thank you for watching.